Red Dead Redemption 1's port to PlayStation 4 has now been given a 60 frames per second upgrade. You can now choose if you want to play on 30 frames per second or 60. Obviously, you, there's no reason to play on 30 FPS. You'll want to play on 60 FPS. You probably can't see it on the video because YouTube uh, lowers it down, but the game is 60 FPS now. It's not a PlayStation 5 game still. It's still a PS4 game, but it's got 60 frames per second, which is nice. The game looks a lot more crisp. And I don't know if it's just me, I don't know if my eyes are being tricked because of the frames, um, but the game just looks a lot a lot better, much more crisp and just better put together. The price, although it's still not 100% excusable, it's a lot more worth it now. Rockstar always have a pinned tweet on their Twitter, or X, or whatever you want to call a hellhole of a social media. Either way, they always have a pinned tweet, and... Um, Whenever they remove the pinned tweet, it means they've got an announcement of some sort coming. And this isn't usually just some small announcement like a new car or something in GTA. It's usually something big or considered big. So um, when they removed their pinned tweet about a week or two ago, people believed that a big update was coming or a new game or something. And it ended up being this. Uh, but it's also October and Rockstar are unknown. They have a reputation for dropping surprises like a ton of bricks on people in October. And it was this, so people believe that they'll probably be bringing 60 FPS to Red Dead Redemption 2, but nothing's confirmed, it's just rumours. I love that to happen, because, you know, if they can do it to this game, they can. there's no reason they shouldn't be doing it to the second game. They probably won't, though, because they'll receive a lot of backlash if they do it to Red Dead Redemption 2, because they're giving it 60 FPS, but they're not updating it. What Rockstar should do now with Red Dead Redemption with the Red Dead Redemption 1 port as they should release it on PS5 but people who have already bought it should get it just to select a different version of it which you can already do with some games but they release a port for the PS5 with slightly better graphics 60 FPS and stuff and uh, it'd be good for trophy hunters we could platinum it twice 